waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. Hello fellow makers, especially Metal Gear fans. Maybe you remember my very old video about making 3D printed Cyborg Ninja from Metal Gear Solid game. I was finally able to get my hands on this resin kit from Gecko, a Japanese company which made official license statues from Metal Gear series. So I am more than happy to redo this video. The kit came with two options of the head and the right hand either with sword or gun. I decided to go with open helmet and sword as I like it the most. Face is gonna be pale and scarred with one dead eye. For this purpose I used skin tone paint with a bit of white, then dry brushed more white tone to pop up the details and create some depth and diversity. Then I continued just with washes to achieve desired result. For the eye white you never want to use pure white color, always mix it with grey or blue-grey color to get more realistic look. Apply more thin layers and use tiny pointy brush, you can find a list of my tools in the description. I always create shape of the iris with dark grey color. Try to be as much accurate as possible. If you make a mistake, you can fix it later by covering it again with the color you used for eye whites. If you're asking when I paint black parts why is in description black plus grey, it's because I always add a bit of grey or brown into black color. At this scale it is a good practice to do so, so all your details won't get lost in darkness. I usually use lacquer paint for the airbrush, unless I know I would have to use regular brush as well. 
then it's easier to use diluted water-based acrylics. By the way, if you like the hobby and still don't have an airbrush, I really recommend to get one. It will take your paint jobs to next level. For these copper parts, I was deciding whether I handbrush it or airbrush it. But I was too lazy to mask all the blue parts so I went with the brush. For that, I use Citadel paint because it has best coverage abilities with brushes. In the end, I kinda noticed it would be the same if I decide to mask it. Cause with brush, I had to apply several layers anyway to achieve good coverage abilities which is time consuming nevertheless. Again, here I use the airbrush to create more fine highlights. It wouldn't be easy to achieve similar results with just brush. However, here I decided to create shades with dry pastels. You can create pretty cool things with these babies. I also recommend to get a set of these.
original Gecko statue came just with black and grey color base, but I decided to put some color to these stones. Also, did some weathering. Last but not least, I put water slide decals on and added some dirt as I like it better that way. With that said, that would be it for today. As usually, you will find some pictures of finished model at the end of the video. Thank you for watching and keep on making!